This video covers spray patterns and types of spray patterns and why they matter. And there are four basic spray patterns for any given nozzle. Full cone, hollow cone, flat fan, and solid stream. And then there's a couple of extra bonus spray patterns that are derivatives of these that we'll consider at the end. So the misting and then the spiral full cone nozzle and then a square spray pattern nozzle. But the four basic ones, full cone, hollow cone, flat fan, solid stream. So what are these and why do they matter? So a full cone nozzle gives a circle of spray if you're looking face on to nozzles. This is a filled in circle of spray so you get an even distribution of fluid over that circle. This spray pattern has the lowest impact of all of the spray patterns, so it's a low impact spray pattern. You can have a spray angle, which is defined as the angle of that cone between 30 and 170 degrees, and drop sizes are typically medium for any given pressures, so it's kind of a medium drop size. Next we have the hollow cone nozzle. This is defined as giving a circle of spray rather than a filled in circle of spray. All of the fluid is pushed towards the edge of that and we get this circle pattern, this band around the circle. That's where all the fluid is distributed. Again, this is a low impact nozzle, low impact spray pattern. And this actually has the smallest droplet size of all of the four spray patterns. You can get the smallest drop sizes out of hollow cone nozzles. Next, we have the flat fan nozzle. And this is defined as a nozzle that produces a line of spray. So rather than having a circle, we have a line of spray. So it's a fan pattern, a flat fan nozzle. These can have a spray angle like the cones between 10 and about 145 degrees. This is a higher impact spray pattern. So you're concentrating more of the fluid into a smaller area so you get more impact and you have larger drop sizes typically with these types of spray nozzles. And finally, we have a solid stream nozzle. This is basically a zero degree flat fan nozzle. It has a much higher impact because again, you're concentrating all of that fluid into a point of a very, very small circle of spray. So we don't really have a drop size with this nozzle. It's not designed to atomize the fluid. It's designed to keep it in a coherent laminar flow. There's a couple of bonus patterns that are sometimes talked about. We have a misting pattern. Now this is actually not a true spray pattern. It'll either be a hollow cone or a full cone nozzle, typically running at higher pressures. And very close to the nozzle, we'll see this hollow or full cone pattern. But because of the atomization, because of the increased atomization, this turns into a mist quite quickly from the nozzle. So we get this kind of amorphous mist, which doesn't really have a proper pattern. It's kind of wafted around by the air. So sometimes we'll talk about misting nozzle or misting patterns. The spiral design of nozzle, which we'll talk about in other videos, they can either produce a full cone or a hollow cone, but the pattern is slightly different. It's basically derived from concentric hollow cone patterns that are formed by the spiral shape of the nozzle. The nozzle can be designed either to have these concentric hollow cone patterns overlapping, so they form an approximate full cone pattern, but there will be considerable variation at different parts of that full cone, so that's important to remember. Or the spiral can be designed so that all of the hollow cone patterns actually converge into one big hollow cone pattern. But again, it's important to remember the difference there. That can have some implications for fluid distribution. And then finally, we have our square pattern nozzles. These types of nozzles, they basically pairs and they spray into each other and they interact and they can form a square pattern. It's just, this can be useful when you're trying to fit the spray into a rectangular or a square shape. So those are the basic spray patterns of nozzles. I hope you found this video useful. In the next video, we're gonna talk about flow rates, how to calculate flow rates, and the factors that affect flow rates in spray nozzles.